everyone, this is Annette. Welcome to my scrapbooking quarter. I am going to do another layout for my preschool class for this boy. And uh, no, Reese. No. I kicked her off a thousand times. This paper come from, I don't know if it's color box, color book, uh, paper pad that I had bought from Walmart a while ago. I don't even see it in their stores anymore. Uh, anyway. It's eight and a half by eleven. This strip is eleven by two inches. I don't think that's two inches though. I think I ended up cutting it down further than that. It's an inch. And then these are two separate pieces. And this one is, let me see, about three and three quarters. And then I have it just long enough to tuck underneath this photo mat which is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then this one is, of course, the same. Oh, I don't know why it's three and three quarters, because it's the same width as my photo mat, hello. Okay, anyway. Okay, and this come from a Walk in My Garden, cut at two and a quarter. And this is from... Uh, this jar and this stick, whoops, it's off the camera, sorry. This jar and this stick here is from, we still chewing on that, is from um, Doodle Charms, I do believe. Let me double check. Yeah, Doodle Charms. And this is from Create a Critter. The jar is cut out. See, the stick is three and a half, and the jar is, is three and a half also, and the and this little caterpillar I call him, or worm, I guess I'm not sure what he is, is two and a quarter. This is from Elegant Edge, and it's three inches, and the title is Making a Grade, and it's cut at two inches as well, and so that pretty much tells you the size of everything and I did use a page map it is let me find his name October 2012 it's the fourth one listed on the page I would show you but the cat's kind of in my way what I know I just got home and now I'm not paying attention to you oh my word what did I tell you She's washing the bed cover cuz you know how puppies are. And now she's it's foam and she's tearing up. I said no. 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 Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to first adhere the, his name. Alright. Grab my is it a pen? No. Excuse me. No, Reese. Good girl. Get your stick. She brought the stick in from outside. Okay. Just want to make sure that you guys can see. And I did ink with a lighter green ink. I put it away, so I don't even know which one, because I did this, and then <clears throat> Sunday, I think, and my husband was in and out, so I didn't film any. I just set them to the side to do. And yesterday, I had a water flowers. I had to fertilize them. It hasn't rained, and I needed to fertilize them with my compost tea. Oh, boy. 
where it's a full moon, but it's not that looked. These I have up on foam, so I will use my zip drawing. Yeah. And then he's just gonna sit here. And I used a uh, Peachy King Critter Face Stamps, these small, for their faces. Alright, he's just going to kind of go like he's walking along the photo mat. Alright, we see. I love you too, but you're not getting in the camera. No. <clears throat> oh, and then for the jar, I cut gray because I wanted the lid to be a gray. And, but I didn't think it would look right having this little bug or this little caterpillar and the twig just sitting on the paper so it didn't seem natural so I used clear vellum and cut so what I did is I cut it out in gray I cut it out in white and I cut it out in vellum and on the white and the vellum I just cut off oops, get this jar top is all I did. Alright, for these. So that way it looks like he's behind the jar. I don't know if you can see, so it looks like he's kind of behind the jar. So there's vellum. Anyway, so that was kind of quick and simple. Thanks, Reese. All right, so this completes my layout. I uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye.